Most women know what kind of heel height they love wearing. For me personally, it's either total flats or a 70 millimeter or a 100 millimeter heel. So you're kind of like three and a half, four inch heels. And for me, that's just because I feel really good in that from a style perspective. And it's also what I'm most comfortable wearing day to day. So there's one time though that this all gets thrown out the window into total disarray and that's when you're choosing the heel height of your wedding shoes because there's so many new factors to consider. So I thought I would make a short guide on things to think about when you're choosing the heel height of your wedding shoes. Firstly, and perhaps the most obvious, is to consider the terrain that you are going to be on on your wedding day. I do talk about this a little bit in my video on designing your wedding shoes, uh, but it's definitely worth another mention here. So thinking about, are you on sand? Are you going to be having a garden wedding and you'll be outdoors, potentially sinking into the grass? Um, or are you gonna be indoors in an urban environment? Uh, so this will help you to choose not only the shape of your wedding heel, but also the height. So on those softer surfaces, obviously a lower heel is going to serve you way better and on those harder surfaces go for your life any heel height is going to be fine when I talk about lower heel heights I'm talking about two and a half inches and below second thing to think about is how much dancing you're going to be doing because you want to be comfortable to dance the night away so two things to think about here the lower the heel the blockier the shape of the heel the more comfortable you're going to be to dance around in However, if you definitely do want to wear a stiletto for walking down the aisle and all of those beautiful photos and things like that, because stilettos do look amazing, you may want to consider a change of shoes. So your change of shoes might be into creating something very similar to what your wedding shoe is, but just in a flat. Um, I've seen people have white flip-flops at their wedding as well. The only thing to consider with that is that your hemline of your dress will be hemmed to be your height with your heels on. So when you put the flats on the dress will hit the ground and you'll have a bit of extra material so you know if you're gonna have another pair of shoes that are flat maybe another dress <laughs> I'm kidding it's it's up to you whatever but um just in terms of the shoes if you really do want that super high heel but you're not sure you'll last all the way through with the dancing and celebrations do think about having a second pair of shoes that are flatter that you're gonna be comfortable and feel good in now to a slightly controversial one but really worth considering and that is your height and your groom's height as well so I know that plenty of my friends are dating wonderful men who may be exactly the same height as them, maybe a tiny bit shorter. And look, it's, it's really up to you if it matters or not, but it may play into the heel height that you choose to wear on the day. Um, I know certainly at Shoes of Prey, we have lots of different heel heights in all different heel shapes. So you can pick a stiletto that's super low or super high, depending on the height and the difference that you wanna see on the day. Um, but I, it, it is one that's worth considering. So there are some pros and cons with each heel shape that you might choose to use at all the different heights. So I'm just gonna sum them up really quickly. For a stiletto heel, this is by far going to be the most feminine shape that you can use. Now at Shoes of Prey, we have a more, a slightly thicker stiletto and a much thinner stiletto as well. Worth having a look at and comparing when you're looking at any shoe brand uh, to see what style of stiletto that you want. But generally speaking, speaking broad brush, that is going to be the most feminine shape that you can get at any heel height. Now, then there's going into the kind of the block shape heel. Now this one, look, it's a little less feminine. It's a lot more stable. Uh, the lower that you go with this one, the less feminine it's going to look. But look, if you're wearing a long dress, <laughs> no, almost no one's gonna see it. And it's gonna give you that ex extra bit of height with the comfort as well. Block heels are really in at the moment as well. So they're the pros and cons to that one. In terms of a wedge, now this one here, it is a really casual heel shape. Um, the higher you go, the less casual it feels, but it's still compared to the block and particularly to the stiletto, extremely casual. So look, depending on the type of wedding that you're having, uh, worth taking into consideration side by side with picking your heel height. So these are all the things that I think about with heel heights and weddings. And you might be asking why I think about this so much. I love making shoes for my friends when they get married and we see lots of beautiful brides at Shoes of Prey. So it is kind of on my brain a little bit, but tell me, have you been married? How did you go about choosing your heel height? Did it work out? If it didn't, why not? Always good to share the love so the rest of us can hopefully avoid any pitfalls that we might not be aware of. I hope that you're having a wonderful week. If you are watching this on YouTube, please do comment below. If you're watching this somewhere else on the internet, please come see me on Instagram. I hope you're having a wonderful week and don't forget, do everything before you're ready.
Bye.